Okay, in this part, we're going to continue where we left off. Um, so, we created so far three methods that gets the information or reads the file from uh, sandwiches, veggies, and cheeses. Now, we're going to add two more that's going to record. Um, the order and uh, payment information. So let's start with the order. So public static void is going to be void. Let's call this record order. And we'll pass in a order. Okay. Right in here, um, first let's um, create a variable that's going to store the file name. So string file equals order.xml. Uh, next, let's create an instance of X document. So for X doc equals X document load, call the load method, and pass in our file. Okay, once we have the file, let's create a new element. So var X element. Equals new X element. And the name of this element we want to be order, right? So we have the root text, it's going to go between the root text, okay. So the name of the element is going to be the order. And this is going to have uh, a few attributes. All right, attributes are let's take a peek at our class down below here. We have ID and order total. Alright, so within our element, we're going to create an uh, attribute. So, new x attribute. And this is going to be id. And the id will actually. Alright, we'll get to that later. Let's leave it right now at that. And. Um, the next attribute is going to be the total. Order total. And that's going to come from here. So e dot order total. Let's actually break this line. Okay, so now the with the idea I'd like to do I'd like to count the number of uh, number of records in here and then add one to it and create an ID. So I'm going to create another variable here. Let's call this ID var ID equals. I'm going to say uh, X doc dot root dot descendants dot count plus one. So it's going to take the root element and check the number of descendants and it's going to add one to it and create the ID from there. Let's take the ID from there. Let's pass that in here. Okay. 
think we're missing a friends here. Okay. Right. Once that's in place, now we can say x dot dot root dot add x element. Okay, and then finally x dot dot save. It's passing our file. Okay. Now if I run this, let's actually comment this out, the previous one, and call this new one. And if we did everything right, we'll, uh, we should see a new record added to the file. Let's pass in a, a new order object in here. And uh, I'm not going to pass the item, I'm just going to say order total equals 199. And that's going to be decimal, we have to represent with an M and semicolon. Okay. So let's run this and see what happens. So we have the order right now here with no records in it. And let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we have new order with an ID of one and the order title of 199. Okay, so that's all good. All right, next, let's create another method for the payment. So public static void. Let's call this record payment. And let's pass in a payment object. Okay. Let's take a peek uh, at our properties. Uh, and, and let's actually get rid of this breakpoints as well. And let's collapse some of these methods so we don't have to scroll too far. Okay, so payment has ID, timestamp, order ID, and uh, amount paid. All right. So, um, again, let's create a couple of these guys here. Let's copy and paste these two lines and change the file name first. That's one too many. Let's change this to payment XML and then load the file. Uh, ID wise, we can do the same thing as here. So take the number of the records and then add one to it and then create the ID that way. Um, next. Let's create an X element. Equals new X element. And uh, so we want to say uh, the X element, name of the X element is going to be payment with a capital P. And then let's close the double quotes, comma, now we need attributes, new x attributes, the first one is going to be the id, and the value is going to come from id over here, right here, that id is going to come over here, let's close that, another x element, I mean x attribute, 
And that's going to be uh, timestamp. Okay. So um, timestamp. That's simply going to be a daytime now object. So daytime now. Okay. That's the timestamp. Uh, let's see. To stream, maybe? To stream. Let's break the lines. It's getting out of control. Getting out of uh, screen. And we got an error here. Let's see what this error says. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cannot be used like a method. Which kindly says we forgot to add the new keyword. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's see. The next uh, attribute it's going to be. Another X attribute. Let's actually break the line right here. New X attribute. And this time, we let's see our properties: order ID and amount paid. So order ID. And uh, new X element. I'm gonna we'll figure out where to get that order ID. And um, amount paid. So that's actually let's bring that in from the O dot order ID. And likewise, let's bring that in from our object here, actually. Oh, that amount paid. Okay. I think we're missing a pair of prints here. All right, that should take care of that. Okay. Um, so we have the element. Now we need to tell the root to add the element, x doc that shoot that add x element and then we want to save it so x doc dot save and let's pass in our file file name okay so if we run this and give some information provide some information we should be able to let's comment this last one here and let's create another one. So XML data, record payment. Let's pass in a new payment object. And uh, so we don't have to pass the ID in because the ID is going to be generated here, but we need to pass in order ID, let's say one. And um, what else do we have? Timestamp. Well, we don't have to send, supply the timestamp as well. Timestamp is right there. It's getting from the time now. And then the order amount paid. So the amount paid, let's say um, 199 also. It's going to be decimal. So we need the letter M. And that should take care of it, actually. All right. So let's run this and see what happens. Let's bring in our file. So our payment should be right here. Okay. Let's run this and see what happens. Hmm. 
Okay. All right, so successfully ran the function, and we have a ID of one, timestamp, order ID, and amount paid. Perfect. So that's working out great. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, in the next part, we are going to start building our UI and uh, wire up our data to our UI. Okay, uh, until then, I'll see ya.